I'm sure you probably most of you have heard of the artist Pablo Picasso. So raise your hand if you've ever heard of Pablo Picasso. Oh, I see some of you. Some hands are raised. All right, cool. Well, today we're going to look at some work by Pablo Picasso. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my other camera. Awesome. All right, so today we're actually going to look at some work by Pablo Picasso. <laughs> and so Pablo Picasso was a Spanish artist. And he was really famous for something called cubism. And his, what that meant is that he, um, he, he just did, it was like a, a very new style of art where instead of painting things realistically or collaging them realistically, he looked at a form and he kind of broke it apart into all of its different pieces. So this is an example of one of his cubist portraits. And it's kind of cool because you can see that it's, it looks kind of wacky. It looks kind of crazy. It's, you can see like one eye looks like it's looking this way and the other eye looking like it's like straight up um, in front of you. And I can see that like, it looks like part of the face is in profile, but part of the face is, uh, the face is facing forward. So that was some, one of the things that he did. In fact, I actually have some self portraits that he did on this side. And I think this is really interesting. Let me see if I can get more light here. A little bit brighter. It's a little dim, isn't it? Here, I'll hold it up a little bit. So what I really like is that Pablo Picasso, when he first started painting, um, when he was really young, he started painting when he was a, just a kid. This is a self-portrait he did of, uh, when he was 15, then one when he was 25, and then you see the one here is when he's 89. So I think it's really interesting that at, throughout his life as an artist, he kind of, he started very traditional. He started doing like this picture that was very realistic. And then as he got older, he started experimenting and, and, um, and kind of figuring out what styles he worked for him. He really started um, going kind of wacky and crazy and trying to break things apart into just their, their forms and their lines. And it's kind of interesting because Art has no rules, and he and the more he studied art, and the more he practiced art, the the more outside of the box his pictures got, and the more kind of I don't know, quote unquote, wacky <laughs> they kind of look. Um, so it's just kind of a cool style he has. So that was those are some of his self portraits. This is one of my favorite portraits by him. I hold it up a little higher so you can see a little better. Um, this one is called Portrait of a Weeping Woman. And I love it because you can really see the emotion, even though it's like, it's like no other portrait. And at the time when, when this first came out and he was, he, he started doing cubism sometime in like the 1930s. And when, when his, when these pictures first started being exhibited and people started like putting them up in museums and in galleries and people started seeing them, nobody had ever seen art like this before. And so it was really considered very um, revolutionary and very unusual because and everybody, nobody knew quite knew what to think because um, it was so new. Like it was, it was just kind of a a, a total, totally new form of art. Um, but I love this one because you can really see like the. It looks like she's holding like a crumpled, like uh, tissue to her face, and you can see that like one nose is sticking out this way, but then one eye is again looking like straight at you, <laughs> and the other eye is kind of looking like towards the side. <laughs> Like very, it's, it's very interesting, and he breaks apart all of the the parts of the face, and just it makes it look very flat, and it's not very realistic. Cubist. Um, one more example that I've always really liked. This isn't just one person, but this is a trio. This one is called Three Musicians, and you can really see how he's broken up these musicians into like like their basic forms. So his head shapes are like rectangular and this one uh, it's got like a weird like conical hat type shape and like the instruments are very flat and and they're it's just all about the, the forms and the shapes. So that's called Three Musicians. Do I have any other examples? Let's see. Oh just these two, which is the ones I already showed you. But these two are very similar. You can see he's, he's almost doing it like kind of in the same way. So today, today we're actually going to do a collage in Picasso's style. 
So you can follow along as I do one, or but there, there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can do it however you'd like. So, but um, if you want to follow along with me, so one of the first things I'm going to try to do is I'm going to do the face shape. And I really am inspired by the fact that on his portraits, um, they look like you're seeing them from two different perspectives. So you see it from a profile. And here, I'll show you guys, just in case you don't know what a profile looks like. So if I'm looking straight at you, this is a front version. If I turn my head and you see the line and the bump of my nose and my lips and my chin, Shutting out, this is the profile. So when I do my portrait, I'm actually gonna try to include both perspectives, from front and from profile. So how I can do that and is I'm actually gonna take two different colors of paper, and I'm just gonna put them together on top of each other like this. And with my pencil, I'm gonna start to draw in a face shape. So Kind of like I did the other days where I started with like a U. I want it to be kind of big because, oops, because I, I want there to be space for me to do um, uh, like features of my face. So here, I'll make it a little darker. I'm starting with like a U, making like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect it connect at the top. It's just kind of be, gonna be an oval, an oval shape, just like that. Now I'm keeping the two pieces of paper together. That way, when I cut out my oval head shape, I'm cutting both of them out together so they'll both be the same size. There's a question, is it okay if we don't have colored paper? Absolutely. You could just, you could do it with, with white paper and color it in. You could do it with um, any kind of paper you have. Absolutely, you don't have to use one type of paper or, or um, I, I, I it, it, it can help to have different color, but you can also like use white and then, and then take some scissors and color them in. Or not scissors, did I say scissors and color them in? I meant to say crayons or color pencils and color them in. Let's see here, let me smooth this out. Okay, so now I should have two heads that are the same size. And like I said, there is no right or wrong way to do these collages. These, these are just um, kind of all wacky and crazy. So uh, cubist collages, they're all, it, it, you can do them however you'd like. So the next, I know you guys are still working, but the next thing I'm gonna do is on one of the two heads that I cut out, I'm going to draw in a profile. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna start at the top. And in fact, maybe I, instead of before I draw, I just, I try to like use my finger and maybe draw out what I think it would look like. So a profile at the top, it starts with kind of a curved line down for the forehead. It goes in a little bit for the eyes and it comes out, it juts out for the nose, goes back in. And then there's a bump and a bump for the lips. So I'm gonna try that again comes down for the forehead, oops, comes down from the forehead, goes in just a little bit for the eyes, comes out pretty far for the nose, and lip, lip, chin. Okay, I think I'm ready to try drawing it in. So, comes down from the forehead. It doesn't have to look perfect. Just, I'm just trying my best. It goes in a little bit for the, for the eyes, comes out for the nose, then it comes down, Bump, bump, chin. I don't know if you can see that. I can go over that with a marker if it helps. So down for the forehead, in a little bit, out for the nose, comes in, bump, bump, chin. All right, I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. So only on one of my pieces am I gonna go ahead and cut that out now. I'm gonna cut along the line I just drew. Okay. Ooh, 
So now I have, now I have these two heads. <laughs> so I can choose which one I want to use. In fact, I'm actually, because I drew on this side, I can still kind of see the black line where I was cutting it out. So I'm actually going to flip it over so you don't see that line. And oh, I think it's going to, I'm going to fit it on like that. <laughs> so now I'm going to have like two sides of my head. This side's going to be a profile and this side maybe will be a facing straight. Like a, a, a straight on version. Like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right, dig it. So, all right, I think I'm ready to glue that down. So if you took my paper, all my paper classes last, uh, last week, so we did a whole bunch of classes um, that were based on like paper and collage, you would know that you always wanna put glue on the smaller piece that you're gluing down. So I wouldn't ever like put glue on this big red piece I'm actually only gonna put some glue around the, the green piece because if I put glue on the red piece, it's hard to kind of guess where the glue should go, but it's really easy if I just put the glue on this side. I don't need a lot. I'll do some dots, That's probably enough. There we go. I'm actually not going to glue my head down quite yet because I'm not exactly sure where on my page it's going to go. I think that depends upon like how I do the hair. I think that's going to depend upon like how much of my neck and my shirt and my, my torso that I want to include. So I have to, I have to like, I'm going to, I'm not going to glue this down quite yet. So just like Picasso did, I'm going to do some eyes. And I'm gonna use, I'll use some white for the eyes just because white eye, white is like, you know, our eyes are, we have the white part of our eyes. So there are two different styles of eyes that he used in his portraits. So let's see if I have a good example. Yeah, this is a good one. So if you notice on Picasso's eyes, one of his eyes is like looking straight at you and the other eye is looking to the side. So I can try to draw in some of those eyes. So the one that's looking straight at you, I'm pretty confident drawing in an eye by like drawing that almond shape in. Then I can draw in the iris. I can add in the, the uh, eye, I guess the eyelid, the pupil. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take, I like, I like color. So instead of drawing in the iris, maybe I cut out the iris. Maybe her iris is yellow. I don't know. Or maybe it's a him. I wouldn't even talk about who we're doing, like who, who we're doing a collage of. Like it, this could be a self portrait. This could be a portrait of uh, somebody else. It could be just an imaginary person. Does anybody have any idea who they're doing? Oh, Jade, did you want, to, you want to show the drawing you did yesterday? Yeah, I'd love to see. And Megan, you're doing your mom. That's awesome. Hold on, let's go to Jade. Sorry, hold on one second, Jade. Ooh, Jade, that looks awesome. That came out so good. That came out so, so good. Really nice job. <laughs> nice work. Okay, so. I actually ended up cutting out a circle from my iris just because I think that looks a little bit different. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I like it. Maybe I like that. Maybe I find, do I have any black? I don't have any black, but I do have some of this dark. This is like a, like a blue. Maybe I cut out a little circle for the, for the pupil. Lucy has her hand raised. Sure. What's the question? Oh, sorry. Uh, do we uh, do we have to make it like have like a half kind of? No, not at all. Absolutely. You these are you guys are the artists, so you can choose what you do. I'm just I'm I'm showing you what I'm doing, but you by no means have to do it the way I do it. Oh, okay. There is these are totally up to you. You um, can make your own artistic decisions. <laughs> okay. Totally up to you. 
Oh, I kind of kind of like that color. So I'm going to glue this down like this. I'm going to go ahead and glue this eye. It almost looks like an owl eye. Owl eyes are yellow. I don't know what other animals have yellow eyes. Cats, sometimes cats have yellow eyes. Cat eye, right? Cut this out. I'm not going to glue it down yet. I'm just going to figure, I'm just going to place it on my portrait and see about maybe where, where I like it. Hmm, maybe there. So I did one eye that's looking straight at you. And now I'm going to do the eye that's in profile. So the eye that's looking the other direction. So how you can do that is you start with a um, like a, it's like a sideways V, a sideways V shape, a little like notch like this. And then the eyeball is that curved part in the middle like this. So the iris is going to be that part. And then the pupil, the dark part is going to be in the middle, just like that. And then the eyelid, and I think that this is a little, a little bit long, it's sticking out a little bit long, but the eyelid kind of comes up like that, like that. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I did yellow for the last, maybe I'll keep stay, I'll stay yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a yellow iris out. And I'm going to use, might as well do the same color for both eyes. So this is a, a little tricky because I have to kind of guess at what size. But I just kind of cut big and then I cut it down smaller as I go. So like that's a little bit big. So I need to cut it down so it's a little smaller. Feel free, if you have any questions, go ahead and just uh, chime in or raise your hand. Let's do a little bit big, cut a little bit smaller. So after you get the features done, that, then you can start going crazy with like all the details. Like, it can be really fun. Like you could make these as crazy and wacky as you want. You can add in like crazy hair. You could add in like a, whatever that your person is wearing. I heard, I saw somebody was doing their mom. So is anybody else, uh, Megan, was your, your, you're gonna do one, a portrait of your mom. Does anybody else have any other person that they're making a collage of? You're not sure, that's okay. Oh, Jade Maybe. has her hand up. Yeah, Jade. My grandma. Your grandma, I love it. That's awesome. Oh no, I meant my great grandma, sorry. Your great grandma, okay, cool. She's still alive. Wow, that's amazing. 93. Oh my gosh, that's really amazing. That's, um, that's awesome. I guess kind of like that. All right, I'm gonna go over this with the marker, the Sharpie, because I did it with Sharpie on the other eye. Well, I hope everybody has uh, has had a good week. Like in terms of, so I'm 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 actually trying to come up with with project ideas for next week. So if anybody has any requests right now, if you there's something that you've always wanted to learn, uh, I can't guarantee that I can do it, but I'm I'm totally open and I'm curious. 
if you guys have anything that like any kind of um, anything that in particular that you would you'd like to to work on. So so far, I have taught drawing from observation. Then we also did a um, a week of of paper arts and collage. So it was all kinds of um, different projects you can do using paper. And then this week was all about portraits. So if you have any ideas that, uh, of, of, of things that you would want to learn, then let me know. That's what I'm doing after this class, is I'm writing in what I'm doing next week. <laughs> I have some ideas, but I'm always curious what you guys are interested in. Oh, thanks, Scott. Oh, you're welcome. I'm actually going on YouTube right now to get the link. So um, if, if uh, no one else saw that, I'm, I'm posting the link to these videos. So on average, I, th I think about maybe three videos get posted every day. We're trying to catch up, but it's a slow process. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so yeah, we're filming these. So if there's a, a day that you missed and you want to go back or if you like are bored on the weekend and you're like, I, I need something to do. You can go to the YouTube site that Scott just posted and um, find some of the classes that maybe you missed. Okay. Still getting the link, but I'll post okay. it in a minute. Okay. All right. So here is my profile eye. So there's my eye that's straight on. I got an eye that's profile. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> this is already looking a little wild and crazy. All right. So I can now I can, it's totally up to you what you want to add in. Like mm, I have some I have some orange here. Let me this is a big piece of orange. Let me tear it in, in, the, in half. I don't need that big of a piece. Maybe I want to add in some ears or I could do um, some lips. Maybe. Ooh, I have a good idea. Yeah, I see the hand up. Yeah, what's up? I'm literally gonna leave this glue. Wait, sorry, I couldn't hear that. When are we gonna use glue? When are we gonna use the glue? Um, well, so yeah. I, I already used a little bit of glue to glue down my my um, portrait, but um, you're gonna use the glue whenever you want to affix something to your paper. So in fact, I could probably use the glue now to glue down my eyes. So you, whenever you're ready to start gluing stuff down, feel free to start gluing. And like I said before, you're feel free to use whatever materials you have on hand. If you have um, tape and you don't have glue, then use tape. If you have, um, uh, if you have um, uh, rubber cement, because <laughs> that's what you have, then use rubber cement. It's totally up to you. If you have glue stick, use glue stick. Okay? Totally up to you. But yeah, good question. You can use the glue whenever you feel like you're, you've, you've affixed and you've kind of figured out where, where you want your, that feature to go. So I've posted the link to the playlist. Um, so far there's 14. The, the first 14 classes are up on YouTube. Um, I'm, I don't think the link is clickable on Zoom, but you can highlight it and select uh, copy and paste to go to the playlist. Awesome. Thanks, Scott. Welcome. Yeah, like if you haven't been taking any of the classes from um, Ben or from Rhiannon, you could check out some of their classes. They have a great lineup. I think Rhiannon, is she teaching today? Yes. Yeah, I think she's teaching um, drawing hands, which is always a really fun thing to do. Ooh, so I just, what I did was I, if you missed what I just did for my lips, um, this is a, it was a little tricky. So I'll show you again how I did, how I made these little profile lips. Um, I took a piece of paper and the paper that I have is kind of thick. So th this green paper kind of, I can feel it. I can feel it kind of sticking out. So I put the, orange paper on top 
and then just kind of feeling around. I kind of felt, kind of felt where the marks were. And oh, that one didn't work. So I gotta, sorry, just kind of feeling around. Up oh, to so that one, I caught my 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 finger kind of caught my my uh, pencil kind of caught the edge of where where those lips were. So I kind of just traced them in a little bit, and then I drew that in, and then I cut it out. Here I have some little profile lips. So that was the way I did it, but that's by no means the right or wrong way to do it. It's just, just the way I thought to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do add those in. Maybe like on one side of my portrait, my, the, these lips are closed and then on the other side, like the mouth is like wide open. I don't know. Are you gonna do eyelashes? Great question. Um, yeah, that's a great question. I, I think, yeah, that would be awesome to do eyelashes. But, you know, the one thing is it's really hard to cut out eyelashes using, like, paper. So if I wanted to add in eyelashes, I probably would just use my marker and I'd probably just draw them in like that. My eyelashes are crazy. <laughs> yeah, I just draw them in like that. There we go. <laughs> hmm. where, where, where do I want to go next? I'm just thinking about what other features I might want to add in. Hmm. You know what I think I want to do is I think before I, I want to add in some, some ears. So for my ears, Actually, I'm gonna do my hair first because my ears are gonna stick out in front of my hair. So, ooh, so I'm gonna find, ooh, I like this purple color. I've always wanted violet hair. I guess I'm doing myself. <laughs> so, the one, so one of the other reasons why I didn't glue down my portrait is now I can take my portrait, or my, by the face I did, I can, I can put it on top of another paper and I can kind of draw in the hair behind it. So, like if I want, hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be kind of crazy. Maybe one side of my hair is long and straight. Oops, I'm gonna cut that out. One side of my hair is long and straight. And then it kind of comes down like that. And then the other side of my hair maybe is wavy. <laughs> Multiple personality picture. All right, and oh, you know what? I'm just gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna draw in, or I'm gonna pencil in where I had my portrait. Like this. So now I kind of know where to cut. And you, you could do two, the two different sides of your hair could have two different uh, colors. You could have two totally different expressions. In fact, I think, oh, that's a good idea. I think I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna add two different expressions on the sides of my faces. Maybe one side is like peaceful and the other side is like sad or happy, happy and sad, angry and like surprised. You can think about what kinds of expressions my portrait could have. Oh, I realized I probably should have traced the bottom of this line. So I'm gonna put this back where it was. I need to know, I need to know where this curved line goes right here. Now I know where to cut it. Then it's up to me actually. I think I'm not gonna cut out the middle part. I could, or I could just glue this on top of it, which I think is that, that's easier for me gonna glue it on top. All right, and I love, oh, I love this idea of making one side sad. So I'm gonna actually take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna imitate Spotlight. the spotlight. Oh, wow, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. I love it. I love it. Um, maybe I even have like little tears coming out and I gotta do her mouth so that the mouth is sad. The mouth is like, See, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna look, sometimes when I'm unsure of how something should look, I, I go back to my, my source of inspiration. Ooh, 
So I'm looking to see what her mouth looks like. So her mouth was like open, her teeth were showing. Okay, so I'm gonna try to work on a mouth maybe that's kind of like the weeping woman's mouth. And like, see on here, hers, like there's tears coming out. <laughs> so maybe I'll do one more tear. Do one more tear. It's a split personality portrait. <laughs> I love collage. Collage is one of my favorites. Because you can just get so many, you can do so many cool things. You can like, and there's, it's, it, it, in terms of like, quote unquote, making mistakes, and collages are kind of nice because if you don't like the way something is, you just cut it out again, or you don't glue it down. Let's see. Hmm. Let me do a different color for the lips. Maybe I have a oh I have a pink. Yeah, I'll do I'll do pink for the other side. So let's see. What do I want the mouth to look like? Oops. Try to do that thing I did before where I like felt where the lines were. Something like that. That's kind of that's kind of right. Okay. Oh, I can I can uh, add in teeth with like some white. I always like to like for parts in a collage that are white that like the uh, whites of the eyes. And like, if I'm gonna add in teeth, I always kind of like to make those parts actually white because I just feel like it makes them pop a little bit better. From the chat, could we do cartoon character next week? Cartoon characters, maybe. So you really should check out um, Ben's classes because Ben does so a lot of cartooning. But that's a great, that's a, a great idea, definitely. We'll think, we'll think about adding in some cartoons. We do a lot of, um, a lot of, so Ben does a lot of cartooning. He also does a lot of, um, of uh, like he, he, maybe actually Scott, you might be better, better place to answer that question or talk about some of the classes that Ben's done recently. Um, ben has done uh, the doodles, doodle palooza, and he did the art tagging, which was really fun yesterday. Yeah. So what, what that was, was he started a drawing, uh, just a simple drawing with, with two elements, and then he tags someone else, and everyone's drawing along, which makes it a lot of fun. So then the next person adds to that drawing, and then they tag someone else, and you know everyone still draws everything. Um, so that, oh, that was a lot of fun. So the cool. class was involved with that. That's really cool. Yeah, I, he was mentioning something about that in an email. I was curious because I want I want to go back and see that. That's really cool. Um, interesting. Well, um, yeah. So I know that we're like um, it, like when we first started, well, most of his classes were were cartoons. Like so, he would do a lot of like a lot of cartooning, a lot of um, of uh, of characters, and then also like how to do background design and does a lot of uh, quick sketching quick sketching yeah. yeah that's awesome megan says by the way thank you for doing these classes oh you're welcome megan we love love doing these classes i love teaching teaching is my favorite they're super fun Oh, awesome. I'm glad you guys like them. I feel like I get to know some of you guys who come, who keep coming back. Okay. Yeah, kind of. So there's my, my sad mouth, <laughs> my crying to your mouth. Wait, I'm going to spotlight Penelope and Nikita. Ooh, wow, girls. 
Those look this, amazing. Those are crazy. Those are this crazy is, pictures. Um, this is from the art tag. Thing. Oh, is this that what you did for art tag? Awesome. So what what were the, what did you guys start with with your art tag? We started with um, a head and then the body. Okay. That's amazing. So I love how that that flower is 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 your character standing on top of a house? Um, a cloud, I think. I don't know. Oh, on top of a cloud. Like, that's what okay. happened yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Like, that that's awesome. I love that. I love that, like, that, 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 that you guys did that. So cool. Missy has her hand raised. Yeah, Missy, what's up? So, um, I messed up on my lips, but then I just got another piece of paper and put over them. Oh, so smart. That's exactly, that's why I love collage. Oh my gosh, does your nose pop out? Yeah. So cool. So cool. What a clever <laughs> idea. So it can also be looking like this, I guess you could say. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah, you totally could. Yours is like, you could view it from the front or it pops out from the side. So neat. So neat. I love that. Very clever. Very, very clever. Um, I love seeing your, that you guys, your work's in progress. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think what other wild and crazy things I want to add. I think mine's not wild and crazy enough yet. I think I need to add some some more some more weird things to my picture. I'm trying to think of what I could add. Adding in these teeth. Jade's on spotlight. Ooh, you could Jade. you could add a bug. A bug? Oh, I totally could. That would get very surrealist. I like that idea. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna do that. I'm gonna add in a little bug. I think it's like it's gonna be like climbing on her head or something. Let me just glue down these uh these little um, teardrops first. That's a great idea. So Pablo Picasso, um, he was really known for having different periods in his life where he he went through different styles. So. Um, and you saw it in like when I showed you his like how his portraits had changed over time. His self portrait has changed changed across time. Well, he went through a whole period in his life where there was I think like well ten years where it was called the blue period, where a lot of his paintings were he used he used like these blue colors and they're like everything that he did was um, similar like kind of sad looking pictures, and then after that. Um, he, I think his, he, I think he got married. I think he fell in love and he got a little happier and his next period was called the rose period. And in the rose period, uh, he used a lot of oranges and pinks in his paintings. So his colors totally changed based upon his emotions and like what his, like his personal styles. So it's kind of interesting how as an artist, your what you do can completely change um throughout your lifestyle throughout your life so he had the, the blue period he had the rose period after the rose period was when he really started doing getting into cubism so that was his cubist period um yeah he, so he had all these different all these different periods which um kind of neat so i think it's and i also i love the fact that as he got older his styles got um less realistic and i think that's true of a lot of artists that when you an artist first starts to learn to do art they start out really learning how to do um you know how to how to draw things very representationally so like learning how to draw a portrait um really very clearly and, and but then as they get older their own personal styles come out and like art is very cool because there are no rules and and as an artist like you kind of you can create your own style and you kind of find what works for you. Megan had a good question. What phases or periods did you go through? <laughs> very good question. Um I think that personally me, I I the I went through a period where I switched mediums a lot. So I started out when I was in college, 
I did a lot of, a lot of like Pablo Picasso. We did a lot of painting. We did a lot of representational art. I remember I had this art class where it was like, I remember the assignment was literally like, go to the, I, I, I studied, I went to school in, in, in New York. I went to New York University and, um, and we had to like choose a, a painting from the Metropolitan Museum of Art and we had to paint it exactly. So it was very representational. And then, so after I did a lot of painting, then I started teaching um, art and that's when I went to school. And so I think I, I personally did a lot of collage work. And then recently um, I have become a ceramic artist. So I make uh, mugs and bowls and ceramic sculptures. Those are, so that's, that's kind of the style. Like, so my, my periods have been less like, like Picasso where it's like my, a blue period or a rose period, but it's uh, like more me like mediums and materials. And yes, I do sell them. <laughs> I do sell my ceramics. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, go ahead. Go ahead. I want to see. Uh, I'm going to spotlight Afna. Oh, let's see. <gasps> wow. That's amazing. I love it. The bow in the hair. It's I, an anima. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love the two different textured papers you use you used for the, the face the faces. So cool. Awesome. Oh you know what you should do next? Now I need to do this on mine too. Because we need to we need to add in a neck and a um, a torso. So we don't have just floating heads on our page. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's add in some necks and some torsos. So I'm gonna pick a color. Oh, I like this bright orange color. This is, I think that's gonna be. Hmm, let's see. Let's find a color for my neck. But yeah, my ceramics. I, they're they're the name of my ceramics is called White Rainbow. So White Rainbow Ceramics, and I do sell them. Let's see. Oh, I like this green. This, bright, this is a good green color. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is now, because I haven't glued this down, I'm just gonna pick it up and put it here. And I'm just gonna draw in my neck. So two kind of curved lines, and then I'm gonna do like a curved line down here. It's gonna be for the bottom of my neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. And then I get to decide what kind of shirt or what, what I want my person to be wearing. There's, cover that up like that. That's gonna be my neck. And then, I'll put it down here like this. And this is gonna be for my shirt. So I think, oh, I could make it look almost 3D, a little bit 3D by like having the shirt kind of coming out like this. The, there's my, my um my shoulders I'm gonna come down like that actually maybe they'll come down a little farther like that now we'll see I'm gonna cut it out and see if I like it <laughs> that's how that's how collages work it's gonna come here. Okay. It's gonna come down like that. My head's gonna go on there like that. All right. Kind of like that. So now I can decide what I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue it all down, and I'm gonna decide what I want to, what kind of decorations or what what the shirt should what should be on the shirt. Um, ooh, I was gonna do ants. <laughs> I was gonna do a line of ants. So maybe I draw in some ants. Let's see. I'm trying to do a really simple, super simple ant. Jade would like to share. Oh, let's see, Jade. Whoa, that's coming out cool. That looks awesome. I like how you're figuring it out with just the white paper. Like, way to, way to troubleshoot. 
That's awesome. It looks really Lacey cool. has her hand up. Yeah, let's see. I added some more. <gasps> Whoa, you added in lips. Oh my gosh, rad. That's, that looks awesome. Yeah, Very cool. Eyebrows. And oh yeah, and the eyebrows. <gasps> Good point. I forgot. You, you reminded me. I need to do eyebrows on mine too. So smart. So smart. Yeah, does that, has anybody else added some things to theirs that like that, that I haven't done yet? Are there any uh, good ideas? There's some extra details. So I saw people had bows. Megan says blush. Blush, oh yeah, you could totally add. Remember how like with the Romero Brito, you could totally add in some like shapes for, uh, for, for like some, like <laughs> you could do a circle, a blush circle. And uh, Liliana and Heather Rhodes, both did hats. You did get awesome, awesome! I can't wait to see your hats. That's great. I could do like I could do my own little circle for a blush. Kind of like that. I'll Maybe leave it. cut out pink circles. <laughs> awesome. Do you want it? I said I'm having clam chowder. Okay. I'm just gonna do, uh, oops, I gotta glue this down. So this is the point where like, if, if all your pieces are kind of like moving around too much and you're having a hard time, then you should start gluing them down onto your paper. So I mean, I know knew, I knew that was your question, when to use glue. Basically, I try to hold off from doing glue until, uh, until I basically can't anymore. <laughs> until, I, until my pieces are moving around so much that I, I have to glue everything down. But if you haven't done a neck and a torso, then you do want to do that because otherwise you'll just have floating heads. <laughs> unless that's what you're going for. Unless your whole idea is to have a head that's just floating in the middle of your paper. Or it could be a ghost. Oh yeah, it could be a ghost. Ooh, that would be cool. That would be really cool. Would it be, would it be a headless ghost though? Or I mean, a, a body, a body, a, a bodyless ghost? Harry Potter. Oh yeah, it could be. That's cool. What would a cubist ghost look like? Crazy. <laughs> oh, that, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know either. Think about that one. Like I said, these can be of anybody. These, so I know on, on other portraits we've done, it's been like self portraits, or I know that when I did the Modigliani portrait, I did a portrait of my dad with this one. I think this is just an imaginary person. <laughs> I don't know if this person is real. I'm not, I'm not really looking, thinking about any specific person for this, for this example. Okay, I was gonna do like a simple little ant. So ant has three parts. It's got like the head and the body and the tail. It's got little legs, it has little antennas. Happy ants. Sometimes can be really tricky to like, so like I drew this little ant out and it's a little tricky to cut them out because of all the little parts that I added, like the antennas and the, the little legs. Sometimes collage can be tricky when you start adding in drawings. So that's why I try when I'm doing collages, I try to do as little drawing as possible because I find it easier. So I did an ant this way. Like maybe the little ant is crawling on her hair. Oh, maybe it's like her hair. Maybe it's her hair bow, <laughs> I don't know. But another way I could have done, drawn, done an ant is by literally cutting out all the sections. So like I could have done a circle for the head and then another oval shaped se section for the body, the middle part of the body. 
Jade was asking if Picasso is still alive. No, he is not still alive. Good question. He died, I think, in like the 1950s or something. I have to, hold on, let me go look. I had his Wikipedia up. Let's see, he died, oh, no, later than that. He, was, he died in 1973. And, and Picasso also, he didn't just paint or do collage. He also was um, a sculptor. And he also did, he was a printmaker, which is kind of, kind of cool. And he also was a ceramicist. So he also made ceramics. So he kind of dabbled in lots of different mediums as well. Um, his, uh, he was friends with, um, with Matisse. So Henri Matisse and Pablo Picasso had a, uh, a little bit of a rivalry between, the, between them. And they were, all, they were often com like compared to each other. And, um, and they, a lot of times critics would like, art critics would like put their works against one another and compare them. So yeah, both of them lived around the same time. And I, if you guys were, came to the class yesterday or last week, we did a, 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 a Matisse style collage. So both Picasso and Matisse enjoyed doing collages. So yeah, actually just by doing this, I can already tell that like, I, I prefer the ant <laughs> That is that I'm cutting out just out of the collage pieces. But it also can be tricky to do tiny little pieces like this. And like to add in like tiny little legs and stuff. Hmm. I want to do a background I can and add in um something in the in the background maybe i want to add in like hmm, maybe like some clouds i don't know i don't know or maybe i just want to keep the focus on the portrait maybe i don't want to get too too uh too crazy with it beautiful ant right there <laughs> No, I gotta glue down all those little pieces. Um, what else? Oh, I, I wanted to do ears. I could go in, I could add in some ears. Maybe I use this bright yellow again for some ears. So an ear, I'm just gonna cut out like a C shape. I'm actually gonna refine it so that like you know how ear, a lot of people, their ears are smaller on the bottom. You know, their bottom, your ear sticks out at the top and then it kind of comes in. And then there's like the, the, the bottom part of your earlobe is a little smaller. So I'm just kind of. Jade to... has her hand up. Here. What's up, Jade? How old was, how old was Picasso? How old was he? Um, let's see. He, oh, hold on, I lost my page. Sorry for the typing. He, let's see, he was born in 1881 and he died in 1973. Who's really good at math? <laughs> 91. He was 91, wow. That's actually pretty old, yeah. Thank you for looking that up, Scott. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Quick Googling. <laughs> yeah, he's 91. Missy has her hand raised. Yeah, Missy. Cool. Oh, I like the crown, the hat, the hat crown. That's awesome. Um, this is what it looks like. Oh, that looks great. I love it. I love it. You should add some details to that, to that, uh, that crown for sure. Some, oh, yeah. ju some jewels or some, I don't know, some, some designs. Okay, I will. Awesome. Actually, I'm going to do two very different types of ears. One ear is going to be giant. And oh, you know what? I'm actually going to have one ear coming out from the top of her head. And one's, or, and one's coming down here. Or maybe it's like here. These are crazy. These are crazy portraits. Actually, to make it look Please. a little... Yeah. I'm going to spotlight Megan. Okay. Wow, Megan, that looks amazing. Megan, that's coming along. I like the little heart in the top corner. 
That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, maybe like one ear is up here, one ear is down there. I don't know, we're getting crazy with it. Maybe I can give her some like big earrings, give her some big hoops or something. We have another hand raised. I, I'm sorry, could you tell me your name again? Is it Amin? Is your hand up? Soren. Soren. My name is Soren. Soren, Soren. Yeah, I remember Soren okay. from yesterday. Soren. Sorry about that. What's up, Soren? So I made this ninja who's holding his sword, and on the other hand, he's holding a laser blaster. Oh my gosh, can you hold it up so I can see? I can't wait to see that. That sounds awesome. Whoa! Oh, that's so cool. And his have a great, a really cool design on it. Oh, that's awesome. It, so, what I basically did was, I was done using this paper because I cut too much out of it, and then I just glued it on to his shirt. Oh, that's super clever. Super clever, yeah. Like that's that's such a good thought. Like to use the pieces, like the leftover pieces of your that you've already cut out of. And like, you also have a, a headband. Nice, because he's a ninja. Ninjas have to have headbands, don't they? Isn't that required? Yeah. I love it. That's and awesome. his neck is a cracked egg. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Uh, his head probably is not too stable. He's he's, he's like Humpty Dumpty. That's funny. I love it. That's really, really cool. Very creative. Very creative ideas. Nice job. Nice job, Soren. <laughs> Very cool. Um, all right. Let's see how much time. Oh, I didn't even realize it is 11 o'clock. This class flew by. I literally, that was the first time I looked at the clock and it, the, it is a full hour later. Oh my gosh. Totally lost track of time. Does anybody have any work that they want to share? Here, there, works in progress. I know you might not be finished, but I know I'm definitely not finished with mine, but. Oh, <laughs> awesome, Jade, that looks great. That looks awesome. I like the eyelashes, very cool. Nice work. Yeah, let's see. Oh, you're frozen. <laughs> the video froze. Oh no, we'll come back to you. All right, we'll go to Sophia and then come back. Okay. Oh, that's looking cool. Go to see the hair. If you look closely, there's oh, more. The yeah, hair. I can see it. I can see it. Oh, I, I can totally see it. You've drawn it in. That looks awesome. I like the, the plaid pattern paper for the shirt. Yeah, we used some wrapping paper. <laughs> so smart. I did that for the cheek. But the other side is orange, so that one of the cheek is orange. Oh, it's reversible. That's cool. That's like double double sided paper. Very neat. Nice job. Nice work. Thank you. Uh, Liliana and Heather Rose. Yeah, Liliana and Heather Rose. Let's see. Ooh. That's mine. Oh, that looks cool. I like the little hats that you've added in. Very nice. And the, the eyes, those eyes are really nice. Thank you. Wow. Oh, whoa. I, those two colors for the face are a good choice. What, uh, what is she holding? Laundry. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I like it. I totally dig it. I, 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 and is it, does she have a hat or a crown? It's a hat. It's a hat. All right. Nice work. Nice work, girls. I'm going to jump over to Vienna and Victoria. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Nice use of magazine collaging. Really nice work. I can totally see the magazine. And, and the skirt that you added in. Oh, that's amazing. And even like the, like the green tendrils of hair coming out. I love it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Let's see, girls. Do you have, do you have work you want to share? Or are you still gluing it down? Yeah, there's another one. Uh-oh. Oh, cool. That's looking awesome. Look at that braid. You nailed that braid. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. 
um, are you gonna are you gonna work on adding it, or, you, or is it just gonna be a floating head? <laughs> is it gonna be a ghost? No. <laughs> are, you gonna give her, are you gonna give her a neck? Are you gonna have body? Is that what you're doing next? Awesome. Eventually. Oh, eventually. Eventually. Work at your own pace. I love it. That's really, really cool work. I, I thank you. Oh, you. you guys were uh, so awesome, hard. <laughs> and I also like that you guys were really creative in the use of magazines. I, I find know, kind of of that too. So smart, smart choice. Thank um, you. Oh, uh, who was it that froze? Um, um, Penelope and Nikita. Oh, Can Penelope. we go back to them? Yeah, let's go back to them. Oh, cool. What do you want to do? Oh, that looks awesome. Being sad and okay, cool. Okay. I see it. Very nice. All right. Is there anybody else who wants to share? Afna. Yeah, let's see. Afna. Oh, wow. Oh, that flower. That flower on the shirt. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. I know. <laughs> oh, these are these are looking so neat, so neat. Um, if I, I I forgot to tell you guys that um, I know some of you did it, but if you haven't already, just go ahead and sign your work at the bottom. Sign your always sign your work. Sometimes I like to even date my work, and I just usually put the year, twenty twenty. <laughs> so don't forget to sign your work if you haven't. Is there any last calls for? Um, for uh, sharing? No, we're all good? Okay. All right, well, hopefully I see you guys back next week. It'll be a whole different lineup of classes. All right, it was really good to see you all. Have a great weekend. Oh, let me- Thank you. Yeah, bye. thank you. Bye. Thank you, bye. Thank you, bye. 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 Thank you. bye. No problem, see you thank next you. week. Okay, bye.